What's up, you guys? So you guys remember the kids from the Bernie Mac show, the Precious Kids. We have Camille Winbush and now Dee Dee Davis. They've both actually grown up. Let me say that first. They've both grown up and now they both have joined OnlyFans. They starred as the children of Bernie Mac on the hit TV show, The Bernie Mac Show in the 90s. And at this point, they are now 33. Camille Winbush is 33. And I want to call her baby girl. <laughs> baby girl is 26. Her real name is Dee Dee Davis, and she's 26 years old, you guys. She announced last week, Dee Dee Davis, she announced last week that she has officially joined her co-star, Camille Winbush, on OnlyFans. She posted on her social media, OnlyFans link in bio with a rose emoji and a picture of her. It looks like she's receiving roses from someone. So it's kind of like, you know, I'm ready to receive your money now, like a message to the men that she's ready. And on her OnlyFans, she says, I'm a big girl now with a black heart. And it also says no nudity. Her and Camille Winbush on their OnlyFans both say no nudity, no new content. So from what we can tell, they're posting sexy pictures on OnlyFans and they are collecting money for it, but it's not actually new content. And recently, some of the content from one of their OnlyFans leaked. It leaked on social media. And this is why people are in an uproar because they're now realizing that they're both, both of the girls are on OnlyFans. So Camille Wimbush, she responded to what she calls the trolls. She responded to the trolls and she said, the trolls are hungry again. So here's some food for thought. I've never been arrested, never been on drugs, don't have any baby daddies. I pay all my taxes. I drink water and mind the business that pays me. And she said, if the most scandalous thing strangers can say about me is that I took some sexy pics as an adult and made a couple mil in the last two years, I think I'm doing all right as a human in today's society. I mean, I, I can't disagree. She went on to say, Camille Simone Winbush will never be a disgrace. So miss me with all that bull. Happy Black History Month, hashtag villain error. And this is because people do call her a disgrace and they do say that Bernie Mac is probably turning over in his grave. He would be turning over in his grave if he knew that both of the girls from his hit show were now doing OnlyFans, doing adult content. But again, the keyword is adult. Dee Dee Davis, again, is 26. She's 26 years old. She's a grown woman. Camille Wombush is a grown woman. So they're both able to do what they want to do with their lives. Dee Dee Davis tweeted and asked, why y'all so mad? <laughs> now, personally, I think a lot of people are mad because they'll always see them as children. And people have certain expectations for people that they've seen grow up or grown up with. They have certain expectations and they expect more. And I think they expect them to have mainstream success. Like they expect to see them still on television, still in movies and having more success in the mainstream. But that doesn't always happen, especially for a lot of black actresses. That doesn't always happen. It's not always the case. It's not always an option. But for women like them, there are always alternatives. There's always alternative ways to make money and they're getting it. Like Camille Wimbush said, she made a couple million in less than two years which is not bad. It's not bad at all. It's not as much as that bad baby girl is making, but it's not bad. The only thing about it that really bothers me, you see how in Dee Dee Davis's caption, she has, I'm a big girl now. I feel like they're making money off of men who remember them as children. And her saying, I'm a big girl now, it's kind of like a turn on for a lot of men who remember her as a child. And that's the part that gives me pause personally. But other than that, if they're both not doing nudity and it's basically just sexy pictures, then I don't have a problem with it, but y'all leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think. Do y'all have a problem with it? Do y'all think this is outrageous? 
it almost sounds like they have to turn to this instead of acting like mainstream acting. So what do you guys think if that's the case where they feel like this is their one of their only options for really getting money, like making millions? What do y'all think if that's the case that they have to do this to make millions? And you guys, I had to go back before I can end this video. I had to go back and check and see what is going on as far as their acting, their entertainment careers. And Camille Wimbush recently tweeted about her entertainment career. And she said, casting directors be like, hi, we know it's 11 p.m., but memorize 12 pages of sides. Find someone to read with you last minute. Film, edit and upload your audition by 6 a.m. tomorrow. No exceptions. And then she said, you wonder why I hate auditioning. Hashtag villain era. So basically, they don't respect her. They don't respect her and they expect too much of her. And so I wanted to see what type of work she's been doing to see if OnlyFans is one of her only options or what's really going on. I checked out her and Dee Dee Davis. And for Camille, it does actually look like she's been working consistently since the Bernie Mac show. If you look at her IMDb credits, she did something called Holiday Hideaway in 2022. Fracture 2021, Muna 2019. She's been working consistently every year, 2018, 2017, 2016. I don't know how much these jobs are paying, but she has been working consistently. But like she said, she does not enjoy the process. She doesn't enjoy the process. As far as Dee Dee Davis, her situation seems to be a little bit different as far as working in the entertainment industry. I don't know what other type of work she does, if she has like a job outside of the entertainment industry. But as far as her IMDb, she has four acting credits, but there's a 13 year gap between 2007 when she was on ER, an episode, and then 2020 when she was on an episode of Two Degrees. There's a 13 year gap, so her career is a little different. And I just wanted to bring you guys that information so we can just take a closer look and have a better conversation as far as what is going on with these two ladies. Leave a comment and let me know what y'all think. And before you guys go, I want to let you know that I recorded the first episode of my podcast. I am finally launching a podcast. It's on my backup channel. If you go to my channel, there's a channel that says Shook Avery T with Layla Lynn. <laughs> That's my backup channel. So make sure you subscribe to my backup channel because my podcast is launching there on March 1st. I just recorded the first episode and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. The first episode is called The Miseducation of Layla Lynn. <laughs> and I thought that was a cute title because it's about religion and the things that I was taught about religion, specifically Christianity growing up and the things that I believe now. So make sure you subscribe to my backup channel. I'll put a link below this video and check out my podcast on March 1st.